What's up, guys? It's Oh here a Pokemon Air Wi-Fi battle, and this is a battle I had against I Fulu. Yeah, whatever. I don't remember his name. Um, but uh, sorry, I didn't get a battle up last week. I it was Orthodox Christmas, so I had family over. You know, I was busy. I was helping clean up the house, so I couldn't narrate or anything. So I'm really sorry about that. And I know I always say I'm gonna come back, you know, and just uh, you know, start uploading every week or weekly and stuff like that. But it's just been. Life's been busy, and I'm really trying, guys. I'm so sorry that it's not working out, but here I'm here giving you a pretty, you know, fast and straightforward battle that maybe you guys will enjoy. So, I laid off the Cure and Black as the same team, and I kind of scrapped it now for a Hail team, and it works out. Really, it was working out really well, but um, let's just go with this. So he leads off with Polyta, leads off with Cure. Um, I know he's gonna switch into Ferris, but I'm just gonna go for the uh, Fusion Ball, just trying to do, do as much damage as possible. So I'm switching to Luke knowing that I have close combat anything on his team because everything on his team is going to take a lot of damage from close combat knowing from the team preview. So I go for the close combat and he decides to leave it in which I don't know why. Maybe he was predicting me to over predict but I would at least bring Tornadus in because maybe you could take a hit better and then take it out. I don't know. I don't think that was the best play on his part but it works out great for me because now I can, you know, I, I have, it's a dead fair throw on the second turn that's amazing. So now that he brings out Tornado's T, and automatically, what comes to my head is what to sack. Not even what can take a hit. I know nothing can take switch in and take a hit, because that thing is powerful and fast and everything. So I knew that I just had to decide something that is not as useful as the rest on the team. And it turns out that it's Vaporeon, because I'm fighting a rain team. So even though Vaporeon will do more damage, everything on that team will resist. So there's not much of a point, and I decided to just take out the Vaporeon. So now I'm going to go to Hydreigon. I'm thinking, I'm gonna go for Draco Meteor, maybe I can live a Hurricane, and you know, and then I take him out with the next Draco Meteor, but no, I take him out with the first one, because you don't mess with Modest Scarf Hydreigon, Modest Hydreigon has so much power and people underestimate it, that Draco Meteor just cleanly one shot that Tornadoes and it was amazing, I mean maybe it was naive nature, because of like mix sets, but it's not... It, like, people underestimate it. But now he's gonna switch to Keldeo, and I know he's gonna go for Secret Sword, so I'm just gonna switch out, go into Gengar, and I know he's gonna switch, so I'm just gonna go for Sub, and now we're back on trap. But basically, he went for Speed Boost, I mean, he got his speed up for no reason, because I can just outspeed and take him out anyway. And I mean, uh, I mean, not outspeed, but like, I have a Sub up, so if anything, he'll just take out my Sub, and that's it. I don't know what was the point of that. So I go for Focus Blast, they got the Sharpedo, no big deal. And now I'm, you know, looking in prime position because I'm just taking out his things left and right. He only took out my, uh, what did he take out? My, uh, Vaporeon, I think. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, so I go into Kiram. And, uh, I, I thought he was going to go for the electric move, like Thunderbolt, so I thought I would resist it. But he goes for HP Ice. I still take it, you know, very nicely. So I'm now just going to go for the Outrage, just trying to destroy anything. This is gonna bring in, and it turns out it's was Polytoad. Now nothing's gonna live a Bandit, Adam, and Outrage from Black Hurum. So I knew that was gonna be a clean one shot, and you know it worked out great. But now he has Keldeo. I'm locked into Outrage. I'm okay with that. You know Kurum did his job. So it goes for Secret Sword. You know it takes out my Kurum. That's really no big deal because I have things to not really counter it, but you know just take on the Keldeo like my Gengar. So I thought that Shadow Ball would one-shot this Caldeo because Gengar at many times has surprised me with taking things out when I never thought it would. But here, it actually doesn't, and Caldeo does live, which sucks. But it's okay because now that my uh, Gengar, uh, now that my Gengar is dead, I'm pretty much free to destroy uh, that thing with Lucario or uh, my, or my Hydreigon. But I just decided to go into Lucario because you know extreme sk speed kill is pretty awesome. So all he has left, I believe is the Jolteon is I have my Hydreigon, Lucario, and Gliscor. Like, this match is just really fast-paced and straightforward, but, it, you know, like, we took down a lot of each other's Pokemon, but I go for Extreme Speed, he lives, he goes for Thunder, which I don't know why I didn't expect when this is on a rain team, but I didn't, and I was like, holy crap, I hope... I mean, not, it's not that I hope, it's just like, I was thinking, like, if he was life form, this would cause me problems, but not really unless Hydreigon would miss. But in either case, I go into Gliscor, you know, absorb the Thunder, Earthquake, and that's the match. So I hope you guys enjoyed this battle. It's really short, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry for the bad uploads lately and lack of them. I just, uh, I, I can't, I don't, I don't, I'm just, you know, trying to get exclusives out of my ass this time. So, uh, like, at these, these times. So, I just couldn't get a battle up. I'm sorry, guys. Um, you know, I had Christmas. And, yeah, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all later.